Hi, this is Mark. Let's have a look back at what happened last week. Now, the first one went against us. It was a loss, unfortunately, but I was asked on Wednesday by a student whether or not I would still have taken this trade, and the answer is absolutely. Technically, this was a very strong down channel. This area here, we had a bunch of EMAs, we had Fibonacci, and we had the upper trend line. And I took the trade at 17.10, stop just above 78.6. It just missed getting taken out the first time. And then the very next day, we had this candle. Now, obviously, this is a pin bar reversal. I am still, until this breaks 78.6 fib, I am still of a mind to look for a short. If it breaks and closes above, and it's failed to do it three, four times here, guys, then I will be interested to long. But at the moment, very much undecided. Then we had a good win on the euro pound and as I've been telling you for the last few months every time it's coming up to 90 we're taking it. The great thing about this is that we were only risking 20 pips above the recent high and we were looking for a potential gain down here of 90 pips which we got. And as ever this came down and almost to the pip bounced off 90.89 and as you know the euro pound tends to bounce off the whole numbers which is why we took it. So that was a decent win. This is the Aussie dollar yen and we're still in this trade and this was a perfect M2. Again, we were in a channel, the channel broke. The very next candle pulls back up to the channel with the 200 EMA just above. So we could have either a very aggressive stop here or more conservative back here. I've now moved the stop down past the entry because this has the potential to go a long way. This is a weekly trend line down here. And if you look across to the left, 8200 back in May, was an important area of support and resistance. So this could go 400 pips. And as you know, we are always looking to catch the big one. Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar was in this, got taken out by this spike and I had moved the stop to protect it. Unfortunately, that one was a loss. This is the USD CAD and we're still in this. And I said to you last Sunday at the market open, I was looking to enter in the then current price range, which was here. And once again, we are in a major channel. Same trade on a daily, and this is the channel I was showing. I showed you channels on loads and loads of pairs last week, guys, and a couple of them went five, 600 pips, which is what we're looking for again. So I entered at the open, it meandered around, it actually got 80 odd pips in profit. I am still in this one, left the stop. Reason being, I have a target up here of 220 pips, uh, but I'm going to be mindful of this. I'm going to watch this. I'm quite happy to accept 150 if needs be. Because remember, last time we were in this trade, we got a very big move. And I took most of the profit off last time here because I explained that it was going to be difficult to break this bunch of EMAs. And it's exactly what it did last time. It came up. It did spike through the 200. Fingers in the fire. The upper trend line and the weekly 55 EMA. And it promptly moved back down again. So... If you've missed this, then keep watching the trend line. As time goes by, of course, be careful because the risk reward will diminish. The risk reward on this one was excellent once again. Pound New Zealand dollar, we were looking here for a potential pullback. It didn't get it. But I said in last week's write-up, if it breaks 90.30, then look for a pullback. And I said on a daily candle. And it did it. It did it on Tuesday and Wednesday, the very next day, M2 again. It came back down to the pip touched the area and it went 500 pips at its strongest point. Where has it stopped at the moment? It stopped at the 200 EMA again. Even better one, Euro Aussie dollar. Remember, we the previous week we were in down here and again, this has got 550 pips. Now, I got taken out of this the week before, unfortunately, but once again, it broke the major, major area of support and resistance and then moved higher. It didn't pull back. However, you could have caught this one on the one hour and on the one hour system all the way up here, you could have got in at any point. And once again, if you got in at the start, you would have caught 350 pips before being taken out. Final few, the British pound, I said last week, only looking too long. And I showed you again, we're in a channel and we also have major horizontal support and resistance in the big area of 130. Where did it stop last week? To the pip at a line I have had in place for weeks. And it's all very simple again, guys. It's all major support and resistance. Price came up, touched it, fingers in the fire, back down again. I'll show you in my next analysis video what we're looking for for the week ahead. Final one was a New Zealand dollar. This is New Zealand dollar. It's come down to a major, major area of previous support and resistance. So what I said to you last week was 
wait for a daily candle to close below 67.90 and the reason was to try avoid a fake out and it's exactly what happened this came down on Friday it tried to break through but it's pulled back again to this area and the reason we are looking at this area it is major major previous support and resistances is a weekly chart and I seem to recall this goes back to 2009 so a decent week was had by all. I know some of you caught that pound New Zealand dollar. So well done on that one. And hopefully some of you caught this Aussie dollar yen as well.